the knitting board involves increasing and decreasing of the amount of stitches that you have on the pegs. When you reduce the amount of stitches you have on the peg, your piece will get smaller. When you increase your stitches, it will naturally move out uh, and become a larger piece. So let's look at a couple different types of increasing. Your pattern may call for an increase at each end of your board, or it may call for an increase somewhere in between your knitting. If it calls for an increase at the very beginning, you're simply going to pick up your first loop, move it out to the next empty peg, creating a new stitch. Do the same thing to your other board, picking up the the last loop, putting it on the next empty peg. Now you have an empty peg and we want to create the stitch on that one. What you're going to do is simply pick up the loop from the next stitch that was dropped off, which is sitting right back behind it. You pick that up and then you just move it out to the empty peg, creating that stitch. Let's do the same thing to the back one pick up that last dropped off loop, bring it out and bring it to the empty peg. You have now filled in all of your pegs and you have one extra stitch. Let's do that to the other end also. Okay, let's pick up that last loop on this end and bring it out to the empty peg. Do the same thing to your other board. Pick up that last loop, bring it out to the empty peg Go back into your next stitch, pick up the previous dropped off loop, fill in with that one on your empty peg, doing the same thing on the backboard, and there we now have two extra stitches on our knitting board and we're ready to just continue in our knitting pr process. Now let's say that uh, your pattern calls for an increase in the middle of your knitting. How will you create that empty peg in the middle? You're simply going to just shift all of your loops over one peg, bringing them over. Let's just do that on one end. Just bring them all over. And let's say we want to do that increase right here. Now let's do the same thing to this side and that is to bring all of the loops over, one extra peg. We're just shifting it over, creating an empty peg. And there we have an empty peg in the middle of our knitting. We're going to do the same thing by lifting that previous dropped off stitch, stretching it out to that empty peg, doing the same thing on the next board, taking that previous stitch, bringing it up and over, and now we have increased by three stitches on the knitting board. You're ready to just continue with your pattern of stockinette or ribbing or whatever you were working on. A decrease on the knitting board will reduce the size of your piece by making less stitches on your loom. Your pattern may call for a decrease at both ends, it may call for a decrease somewhere in the middle of your knitting. Let's look at uh, how you would do a decrease at the end of your board. Now you can do it simply by decreasing with the first stitch, or you can actually do your decrease inside a little bit. Depends on uh, the piece that you're making. But let's look at just a basic decrease. That means to simply take that first loop and put it on your second peg. Do the same thing to the other side by lifting that loop up and over and putting it on the second peg. Now your second peg has two loops on it, but this one is empty. You've decreased by that one stitch. Let's do the same thing to the other end. Just pick up that end loop, put it on the next peg. Do the same thing on the backboard. Simply pick up that last loop and put it on the next inside peg. There we have reduced our knitting by two pegs.
we're going to weave our next row, and when we do, we want to make sure that we lift both lower loops up and over that new stitch. But let's look at a situation if you wanted to decrease somewhere in the center of your knitting. Let's just take that center stitch and move it over to the next adjacent peg. And the same thing on the other board, directly across, and put it in the same direction. There, we have reduced also this peg in the center. Now what we're going to need to do is just simply move our loops over, just by simply taking them off that peg and moving it over. Same thing here, moving it over. Now this can be done also by many different um, pegs if you're reducing by a large amount of stitches. And that can be done sometimes when you're making brim of hats or, or other little pieces that get narrow right suddenly and by a lot of pegs. Make sure you move in both of those over. You might have to do them one at a time. Okay, there's one. And then there's two, both of those, there we have it. Now we have reduced our knitting by three stitches. We have two loops on the first, two loops in the middle, and two loops at the end. Our next row will put a weave onto every peg. And when we do, remember that when you pick up those pegs, make sure you lift both of your loops up and over for your new stitch. Your next row will start out with just one loop on all of your pegs.